Well, you know, I did get the food stamps. Get them in seven days. I got all this, like, food that I don't really want to eat. I guess I'll have to eat black beans and stuff. Last night I had a can of mixed vegetables. That's all I had for dinner. Only expired by, like, two months. <sighs> Took a shit this morning that was, like, really not liquidy, is just soft enough that it sat like putty and wouldn't flush and I had to frantically fill a bottle with hot water and spray it just so I wouldn't completely clog up the toilet brush with shit, you know? Every part of my life's got to be tense. <sighs> like, I just, like... And the woman said that, yeah, I hadn't applied for social security. She gave me some offices to go to. I don't know when I'll find the time to do that. I can't do it now because I'm so wrung out from that fucking just getting the food stamps. <sighs> Barely have the strength to even get on this bus to make it back home. And you know, the place that I live, like in the basement, I try to sleep, and there'll be like laundry going. This one guy is like having a loud ass conversation the other night while I was trying to get to sleep. So it's like everything's trying to break me down psychologically when I'm already not in a good place. You know, it's like one of those men gonna get those mental health benefits. Who knows? Everything's got to be this bureaucracy where. Loud as fuck shit going on, of course. Only agreed to go to that house because I specifically asked if there was Wi-Fi, and of course there was none. I'm just glad that the I could actually get food stamps in this state building, like that old guy at the house told me I could. Like, I was half expecting, actually like 90% expecting I'd get there and wouldn't be able to for some reason, because that's just how it goes, you know? You listen to people, they say shit, it's totally fucking wrong. Can't look it up because there's no Wi-Fi. Also, just so that my bladder doesn't get me, I'm in a state of perpetual dehydration whenever I go out anywhere. Because I just don't want to have to worry about the stress of constantly having to pee. I just go everywhere fucking dehydrated. You know, it's fine, I guess. I mean, not for all of my metabolic processes, but, you know, at least I don't have to worry about the bathroom as much. <sighs> Of course, I have to go out if I want to, you know, get on the internet in any fucking way. And the transit app, you can't use it while you're on the bus, so I have to take the bus into downtown, stop, then figure out where I'm going. No idea if that guy is actually going to take me to get my license tomorrow. I mean, based on his track record, I mean, it's pretty fucking spotty. But then again, I can't pay him for rent until I get a job, so it seems like he would have an interest in doing that. I'm so fucking tired just from doing one thing. It's like asking, asking me all those questions. It's like really driving home how I have nothing. I guess one good thing, since, since my sister's not going to send me money anymore, it's like at least when they asked, do you have relatives who will send you money, I'm like, no. Don't have to lie about that. So that's nice. Just... I think being unkillable would be nice, but it's just like the worst thing ever, because like, I just, I hate being alive so goddamn much. The anxiety of fucking everything. Like, all these things I need to do, and everything that I need to do needs me to do the other shit first. And it's like, I'm a mentally ill person. Shouldn't there be a place where you can be like, Hi, I'm mentally ill. I can't deal with this shit. Could you help me deal with this shit? And they're like, Oh, well, first you're going to need these forms from this place, and then you got to go to this place first, of course, and all these other shit, all this other shit you got to fucking deal with. And it's like, No, that's the exact shit I can't deal with. That's what I need help with. And then, you know, it's, it's just... <sighs> I just want to die so much.